in that regard. Um, do you think it adds or takes away from the credibility or the credence of these issues in this day and age? Uh, do you think it detracts from it in any way? Look, just now, one of the videos that was shown was the video of the looting of yeah. 2021. So I think the greatest um, responsibility lies on the main uh, mainstream media mm. because the messaging that is coming out from the mainstream media is that of violence. Look, that's the, the video as, <laughs> as we're speaking now. Yeah. Now, what does that say? The psychologically people are being made to believe tomorrow there's going to be such violence. Has any party promised violence? The answer is no. Also, look at the DA. The mm. DA marched to Lutuli House. And I can assure you, when they were marching to Lutuli House, the street hawkers on that street were affected. The um, taxi drivers that use that route were affected. Mm. Now, it cannot be that when now, um, you know, when it's convenient for them, they're saying that other people's lives might, might, must not be affected by protests. Mm. Whereas when they are protest, protesting, other people's lives get to be affected as well. So in our view as the ATM, Tomorrow is going to be a peaceful day, and we agree with um, um, Tatana Kodi when he's saying, let us focus on the issues, because Mr. Ramaphosa has failed. If you can look at the track record from 2018 up until now, 47 people were killed beginning of 2018 mm -hmm. per day. Now we're talking about 72 people killed on a daily basis. Unemployment was sitting at 25%, now it is sitting at 35%. The um, growth of uh, debt, to, debt to GDP has um, grow, gone very, very high. So if you look at all indicators, there's not even one indicator a person can say, Mr. Ramaphosa has turned things around for the country. And people cannot sit idle and hope that one day things will come right. Right, but they need to take a stand and a protest, a peaceful protest is one of the mechanisms that people are actually taking a stand because this is their only country. It is their interest that yeah. the government, government of the country actually governs well because if the government is not governing well, it is the people that are killed. It is the people that sleep, um, you know, every day on an empty stomach. That is why we want to encourage all South Africans to peacefully protest and peacefully take a stand that yeah. they cannot you know, it cannot be business as usual. And the government can't relax. Mr. Ramaphosa and his cabinet can't relax and enjoy their time, whereas people are struggling because the people are getting killed like flies. Therefore, it is their right as a people to take a stand because it is the only way in which the country can yeah. turn from bad to um, can turn things around so that we do not continue in this direction whereby the country right. is leading towards being a failed state. Uh, Vio says we can't have business as usual, Lindo Kutle Kulu from Patco. Uh, that's